Good morning. So, how many of you have waited for this day way too long? I, I know I have. Uh, first, I'd like to have, we have Stan Lucking, one of our decks here. Uh, ARC, and, and you'll hear from him a little bit more later. And also our city council members, I believe I have Emily Vanderwill and Linda Graper, Randy Lord, Tony Tinsley. Am I missing anybody? Any other council members that are in the back somewhere? All right, why don't you guys come up? Oh, Brian Sullivan. <laughs> Former mayor, county council member. All right, why don't you guys come up? And I don't know if you can see it from back there, but this isn't an ordinary ribbon. We decided to make a garland of roses. That seemed appropriate when you're cutting the ribbon for the Rose Hill Community Center. And so that's what we're gonna be cutting here today. Uh, and you'll have an opportunity, we're gonna be pulling some of the roses off so you can get an opportunity to maybe uh, have one of those as well. So I'm not gonna speak a long time, we're gonna cut this. Everybody wants to get inside and then you'll be able to hear me talk more in there. So, so don't worry, you'll, you'll get to hear more of me. All right. You guys come up. It looks great. wonderful. Yeah. It's like a lot of time and effort and conscientiousness was done here, boy. Very impressive building. I, I really like it. They just put a lot of work into it. It looks great. And I congratulate Joe and all of Thank the people you, that were behind the center as having done the right thing. Good morning and welcome to your new Rose Hill Community Center. Many of you had had the opportunity. Did you know we made the top 10 city CNN Money Magazine? All right, okay. I, I just don't know if I had mentioned that before. So in 1893, the first Rose Hill School opened. How many of you have actually seen a picture of the original school? For those of you who have not, um, as you walked in, Right above the desk, there is a very large picture of it. It was an absolutely beautiful building, but unfortunately, it burned down on March 17th of 1928. The second school opened in September of the same year. You know, I look at that and say, wow, you couldn't even get a permit that quickly. <laughs> the Rose Hill School closed as a school in 1973, and in 1978, it opened up as a community center. And interestingly enough, we have here today the very first director of Rose Hill came up from New Mexico, Gene Sachich. Uh, Gene, he's in the back there. Let's give him a hand. We have a couple of other people I'd like to recognize that are here today. We have um, Dr. Marcy Larson, the superintendent of the Muckleteal School District. And where's Dr. Oh, right there. Very good. And we also have the school board vice president, Judy Schwab. She is here with us today as well. Judy, there we go. And the reason that's so important to us is because if you're not aware, the Rose Hill School was actually deeded over to the city back in the 70s. And that's property that is sitting on is still part of a deed through the school district. So we thank them very much. This certainly wouldn't have been made possible without the school district support and help many years ago on that. So thank you very much for, for being here today. Well, I think it's safe. It's a good place for young people to come and then their parents. Place, you know, we saw the fireplace. They can sit while the kids are downstairs or in the game room. That's wonderful. Really nice. Oh, we 
we loved it because we used to always come to the old one and uh, spend a lot of time with the Christmas events and my daughter took ballet and we used to go to the thrift store and so this is wonderful. We like this. It's beautiful. It's light. It's airy. It has four classrooms that are huge and the teen center is off to the side so they can come and go and have their time and the noise can be away from the other areas. So I think they'll be very happy. We're looking forward to the ballet class and we're hoping that they'll start maybe a dance class, a ballroom dance class for the mommies and the daddies to go to. And um, I don't know what else. I'm looking forward to the outside, the grass, playing on the grass with the kids. Uh, we love the lounge with the fireplace and the, uh, what did you like, honey? The food. The food. <laughs> <laughs> I think the classrooms are going to be great. I love it. I'm I'm sad to see the old one go, but I know there's always room for progress, and I think this is a great venue for people to see how beautiful Muckleteal really is. It, it preserves our heritage. You know, my mother taught dancing at Rose Hill, so it would have been her shows that took place on that floor. Well, I'm glad the Puget Sound video is providing excellent video coverage at this event. It's awesome. It's beautiful. Um, well, I did dance at the old one for uh, 12 years, Allegro, so that's going to be really great for them. I actually would just like it to be a place where people are happy together. There's not enough of that place for everybody to gather here, and now there is, so I love that. I can't wait for the art and the dance, and the exercise room is really impressive. We actually only live about three blocks away, so we were talking about just walking down here you know, many days and taking advantage of it. Yeah. We've got a number of our council members here, and I would just like to, I know I've told them this before, but publicly thank the council. This was not an easy thing. I don't know how many of you remember, this, we started in 1996, I, I kind of looked it up, in 1996 was the first discussions about what to do. Uh, either renovate the original building or to build a new building and that discussion went back and forth and uh, I want to thank this council for really getting behind and asking the citizens uh, you know at, at the end of the day it's a community center let's ask the community what they would like uh, the community said would like a new center we've moved forward with that and uh, and I hope all of you enjoy that we also have with us today uh, a number of members from uh, from Allied Construction, we have Scott Biella, the president of Allied Construction, also Tim Biella, the project manager, and Tom Novak, the project superintendent. They did an excellent job with the building. And of course, you, you know, an, uh, a, a good construction company can build a building, but they need a really good architect to give them drawings to, so they know what to build. So we have today, we have Stan Lochting from ARC and Paul uh, Ross Curtis from ARC, they are architects. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to have Stan Lochting come up, our architect, and he might say a few words about the building or I guess whatever he'd like to talk about. So Stan. Uh, thank you, Mayor Marine. Uh, hello, good afternoon, Michael Teo. Uh, congratulations on your new community center. I want to say how really proud uh, all of us at ARC Architects is to have worked with the city on what we know will be a really great building uh, in the years to come for you. The biggest applause and the biggest thank you goes to you, the citizens. I think the mayor has already uh, explained a lot about the process, but you were really diligent in terms of coming and supporting your ideas at the open houses, at city council meetings, and of particular note is the Citizens Advisory Committee, which really guided uh, the design team in developing a design that not only took advantage of the site, but really fit very well with old Muckleteo. And we think that the design committee deserves a big, huge applause for guiding us in what really would fit in the city of Muckleteo. <laughs> and finally, we think that the community center is going to be a great, great attribute and will add significantly to the quality of life to the community and to all of you. It's going to support ongoing education, recreation, and socializing in ways that we think are going to be really enlightening and wonderful to see in the years to come. Again, congratulations. We are really happy to be part of the Rose Hill Community Center team, and we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Uh, 
Uh, we also have here with us today, we are fortunate to have, uh, as I saw him earlier, our former mayor, Brian Sullivan, is here. He's now a county council member. Uh, we also have former mayor, Don Duran. I think I saw him back in that corner. Uh, we have Harold Quimby is here as a former council member. He's still, you see him all over the place. And Ken Croman's another former council member. It's great to be able to see uh, people who've had a, a, an really a hand in this in the past to be still interested coming out and to see it come to fruition. So we thank all of you for, for attending. But, uh, but I'd like to give a, a special recognition also to one of our former council members who not only had uh, a fair amount to do with this, but is also now one of our state representatives. And Marco Leas is here with us today as well. And now you have an opportunity. I mean, it's great to listen to me, but we would like to hear from our council president. And so Richard Emery. Wow, there's a lot of us here. This is great. I want to thank the mayor for doing all the uh, thanking of all the people that needed to be thanked. And I want to thank all those people again, um, because everyone worked really hard for a long time to make this happen. And we really all appreciate what people brought and all the things people did to make this work. Um, but I want to talk about something different. I want to talk about um, I guess memories and community for a few minutes um, because this is a community center and it has a lot to do with community and memories. There must be something special about the waterfront and the hillside here. Uh, the first peoples, the Native Americans, knew it and honored it. Um, they used it for generations and they named it Mucatillo, as far as I can tell from all the records. Most of you know that. Um, and Captain Vancouver, as the mayor said, landed here in 1792 and named this spot Rose Hill. And I think we all know that story about Rucketeel and, and Rose Hill. And I'm pretty sure there's people here today who remember 1928 Rose Hill and being there. I know that's true because there's a great video on the city website of people talking about being in Rose Hill and their memories and experiences of it. And I really encourage everyone to go visit the website and listen to that. It's really a very wonderful experience. Um, and it reminds us of our history and our connections and what makes us a community. Perhaps in two or three or five generations when this building is older, there may be a debate over whether to save it or build a new one. Whatever that future community does, I hope they honor the history and memories that come from this building the same way we honor what has come to us from our past and continue this place as the center of the Mukateel community. And thank you for being here and for being our community. Thank you, Richard. That was uh, actually very, very nice. I'd also like to, uh, I guess, reintroduce you to Jennifer Berner. Let me, let me tell you a little bit about her. Uh, we hired her a, a couple of years ago, and she really brought life into the, into the previous building and started some of the program, get, getting some of the programs down there going. And for her to be, the, the work that she put in, not only continuing that building, but working on getting this building set up and, and all that she needed to have here, she was really almost running two buildings. So the amount of time and effort and blood, sweat, and tears probably that she has put in, um, I got to tell you, there's probably nobody happier, other than maybe me, but nobody happier than, than Jennifer Berner to really to see this come alive, to see the door finally open, to see this many people coming out to enjoy that. I don't know. I think I'll just be coming here to like exercise and stuff. Yeah. We plan to use the facilities, especially for the... Uh, dance and probably the art classes and um, maybe the senior group. <laughs> well, I just passed a number of, of uh, special rooms, conference rooms, meeting rooms. I think there's going to be a lot of uh, communication taking place here in Michael Teo. And I think theater groups are going to sprout up around so they can perform here. I think it's a wonderful opportunity for the community. I think it's going to be great to have you know, everybody coming in doing their events. It's going to bring great business um, for all of the local businesses around here. We are Muckle Teal Girls, <laughs> let me tell you. Oh, it's beautiful. We love it. We love it. We love it. We are going to enjoy many happy hours here. First of all, I just want to say welcome to your new community center. It's the community center for Mukilteo, so welcome. And thank you all for showing up today and supporting this wonderful project. It's your community center. We're here to serve you when you come here. We have 
great new team of staff at the front counter that if you want to register for a class today, we can do that for you. If you'd like to look into renting one of the rooms for a business meeting or a special function, we can do that for you today. As well as Monday morning, we open up our doors at 6.30 a.m. and we're open till 9, Monday through Thursdays. Stop by, see what we have to offer. Again, we're here for you. If there's a class or a program that you think might be wonderful to offer, let us know what that is and we'll do our best to see what we can do to make that happen for you. Now, in order to make this great party happen here today, we had a lot of help from a lot of people. We had a lot of help from some volunteers just around the community. There's Bernie Bush and Colleen. They just stepped up and said, what can I do to help you? We had a lot of city staff, people from Public Works. We had every single department was in on making this event happen today and help get this building built. So can I just get a round of applause for all those people that helped put this together today? All the great food that's in this room is being donated by the vendors, local restaurateurs in the community. They wanted to be part of this special day. And so as you go by, taste their food, tell them thank you for being part of this event today. And who knows, maybe you'll go to dinner to a new restaurant that maybe you haven't tried before because you found out you really liked what they're serving out there. And I would just like to close with, again, Welcome to your community center here in Muckleteo. It's a beautiful building, and please come and enjoy it with us. Yeah, thank you. Oh, did you really like oh. the event? <laughs> Muckleteo has some of the best restaurants in all of Puget Sound. It's clearly um, something the community is really going to appreciate and use. Uh, all the comments have been marvelously positive. Um, we have a great building and a great opportunity to build community, to keep our community alive and healthy. And um, I'm looking forward to this building being an integral part of the center of Mukateo and Mukateo community for a long time. I'm really uh, excited about the opportunity that this is going to provide for us uh, to do uh, different things, to get more people involved, that we can get programs going to uh, involve people in the community. That's, that's what it should be about. Jim Niggemeyer is my husband. He's the project superintendent of the building, and it's been his baby for the last year and a half, two years, and he's very proud of it. It's an incredible building. Well, this particular room that we're in now is the, going to be, it's the Rose Hill room. It's going to be basically a reading room, a quiet room where anybody can come and sit and contemplate, work on the computer, play cards, visit with friends, um, which is a, a, just a great use. It has the, the flooring is the gymnasium floor from the old building. Downstairs there's a game room, which also has gymnasium flooring. I think everybody uh, to a person is, is liking what they see. You know, Joe, one of the reasons they may like what they see is because the functionality of the old building has been brought over to the new building and then expanded and enhanced. For example, in the old building, they had a place for exercise. You have a better place here. Yes. There's a place for teaching dancing. You have an excellent place here. Yeah. And so on and so well, on. And so I think, I think that's another reason why some of the older residents that wanted to preserve that school accept this new building because of that preservation of, of, of functionality. I think that's very important. And, and you're going to see it this summer as all the grass starts to take shape in the landscaping. Uh, to see this building wrapped around green, with green out here and people uh, enjoying the, the view on having a picnic or playing frisbee or doing something out on that grass is, uh, it's really not just the inside, but you're going to see the outside of the building come alive as well. You know, Rick, I, I think this is a marriage of the past and the present. And with any marriage, there's something old, something new, something borrowed, and something, something blue. blue. <laughs> I think this is your victory track. We're bringing about a successful marriage of the past, the present, that will project into the future. Thank you, Dr. Congratulations, Joe Marine.